Hey, my name's Casey Schmidt. I'm a 2004 graduate of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences with a BS in Poultry Science and a 2008 graduate of the College of Veterinary Medicine. I'm current year, first year cardiology resident with a large private practice here on the, in the Maryland, Virginia area called Chesapeake Veterinary Cardiology Associates. Marcy emailed me and asked me to make a little video about any advice that I have for undergraduate students. And I think the first piece of advice that I have is that you go, big reason you go to college is, is to get an education and figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life. And some of you may already know, you may already have your major chosen, you may be questioning your major, you may not have a major at all in mind yet. Um, and I think one of the most important things that you can do as a student is take advantage of the opportunities that you have when it comes to course selection. When you're looking through the course catalog, picking your classes for next semester, if something piques your interest, take it. It may not be in your four-year plan, uh, it may not be even required for your major if you have one chosen, but it may be something that ends up changing your career path altogether. Uh, that actually happened to me my sophomore year. I had to pick an elective to satisfy a requirement for my animal science major, and I chose PO201, which was Intro to Poultry Science. And I thought, well, this will be fun. It's different, for sure, um, and it'll satisfy the elective and move on. And I ended up really enjoying the course. It was a lot of fun. It was different, and I think if veterinary medicine hasn't hadn't come through for me the way that it has, which I'm very fortunate that everything has worked out for me, but had it not... I would have been very happy in the poultry industry. I think I would have had a lot of career opportunities and had a lot of fun. So if you if something piques an interest, take the course. A uh, second piece of advice that I have is to really try and be a part of the campus life. You're there to get an education, but you're also there to develop as a person. Um, and one of the ways that you can really do that is to just be active on campus. There are so many clubs and organizations that you can be involved in. And if that's not your thing, there's pretty much something for everyone. When I was there, three of the things that I remember most fondly were being a Cal's ambassador, working for the um, Wolfpack football in the recruiting office, and also being a part of the youth scientist program. And, and I look back on those times just as fondly as I look back on um, all the great friends that I met and all the great adventures that I had while I was there. Um, and thirdly, if you are having any doubt, if you have any questions about your major or about your career, what to do next or how to develop um, your career even as, an, as a student, get help. Um, there are, we are so fortunate um, in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences to have career services. If you don't already know, really look into the, all the services that they offer. They have workshops and little classes that you can take. Um, for everything from resume building, skills portfolio building, peer counseling, networking, finding an internship, interview skills, and they're all great. Um, I can honestly say that I took advantage of that while I was there, and veterinary medicine is a very, very competitive field. And had I not had the advice of the career services group, I may not have gotten as far as I have. They really helped me become a very strong candidate for vet school, for internship, and for residency application. So if you haven't already sought out their services, do so. Um, they, they can really make you a competitive person uh, in, this, in the market today. I think that's about it. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me, um, Marcy has all my contact information, so feel free to shoot me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you guys have a wonderful semester and good luck.